proof yourself with such devices? What's your opinion on that? Um, no, I haven't, but that sounds pretty good actually. Um, I did want to make my ECG machines to monitor some functions of the brain just while I do it, but no, I haven't tried that. But I would be interested, I might even have a conversation with you how I can do that. We still have uh, some time for questions, so are there any? Do I see a hand there? <laughs> no. um, is it healthy to do this kind of breathing every day, for example? Or only if you are cold? Um, no, it's definitely. Uh, we talk very loud this time. Um, it's, it's, it's quite healthy because you know, you're increasing your asthma level, you're increasing the CO2. Um, levels in your blood. So I don't see anything wrong with doing such a thing. I mean, most meditations tell you to breathe deeply, walk the breath, drink it up. So you can see the correlation between, I guess, meditation, good life, yoga, and all this, and why it has an effect. And yeah, I, I can't see anything bad from it. You know, what would be bad is like, yeah, bad. <laughs> So I was just wondering about the reaction of the people around you, because whenever I do any of this stuff, you know, kind of start eating vegetarian or whatever, then everybody, yeah. you know, I'm from a small town in Britain, and it's kind of everybody thinks you're a freak from doing half of this, yeah. even for just not eating meat or something. So yeah. more, how do people react to you yeah, taking cold showers or something, and you're talking about how great it is? Uh, this is really interesting because, um, this is really interesting because it's something like, I always laugh about, uh, when we go out with friends, for example, you say, oh yeah, I don't eat any meat. They're like, oh, just get a salad. And I get really angry when people say this to me because it's like, I still like food, you know. Then I'm going to go eat a salad. I don't want to eat a salad when I go out. So there's all this confliction of thoughts where they believe like you've become a rabbit or something and you're just like eating lettuce or something, you know. You still like good food. You still want to get a nice meal out of it. Um, the other factors that, you know, I find really funny is like they always ask, why did you become a vegetarian? And this for me is a very, very... Uh, a uh, broad well, topic because for me there were many factors you know for me it came down to uh, cognitive dissonance so what I knew to be true didn't match what I was doing so my behavior my thoughts were not in line um, so yeah I do get a lot of random things so even when I was, I even experimented with like uh, not listening to music for like a couple of weeks I think I did it for like a month so just completely no music um, I experimented with uh, no alcohol for like six months. And that was very interesting. And my friends thought I was going down a very, very shady path because, you know, they were like, what's happening now? Like, we haven't seen you for a couple of weeks, a month. You like uh, stopped drinking, you stopped uh, hanging out, like what's going on? And for me, it was more important to do these things and learn for myself than to just like give in with the pressure. Um, yeah, they're like, we'll, we'll feel like, you know, next thing you're going to cut out friends and no friendship and, and, you know, a lot of other stuff, but, no, it's fine. Like, in the end, it worked out quite well. Okay, so, uh, we have room for last two questions, so, oh, uh, well, uh, here is one. Hi, um, with regards to the cold showers. Should you just go straight to cold or should you just do it gradually? Um, it's always safe to do it gradually, but again, like when Half said do it gradually. So what they say is like, uh, end your showers with one minute cold water. So have your warm shower, do whatever you need to do, and just before you get out, end it with one minute cold shower. So you can kind of get the feel of it. Um, and then you increase it from there. Other people will turn it down a bit cold and the next time a bit cold, that will charge you as well. Okay. But, you really have to read your own body's uh, response to it, you know. If you start shivering, that means obviously it was too cold. But the huge, huge aspect of it is remaining calm. Like, I still, after five months of training this, because he thinks after two weeks, after two weeks,
two weeks I should be able to do it. Um, yet, I still, if I go in, and if you ever for a second just start panicking, you will feel the cold. So the whole point of it is to keep breathing and just remain calm and let the water just go over you and so this is fine. And that is a huge mental uh, growth factor for me, much more than being able to withstand the cold, because it allows you to, in a state of complete distress and discomfort, remain calm. And just remaining calm allows you to bypass the pain. So a lot of people actually say the pain that you feel is actually anxiety. If you fly then you can decrease the amount of pain that your body feels. So in the same manner, yeah, you just gotta read your body's symptoms and just push through it in your own way, you know. It would be different for each person. <clears throat> Some people have described it as meditating. So when you're in a cold shower, you're actually meditating to yeah. So you keep breathing, just remain calm, just like I even like try and smile before I go under it. You know, I don't want I don't want that negative energy from it where I go, oh this is cold, oh why am I doing this? I hope this works out. Like I want to go in with grace and just be like, yeah, this is beautiful and just like remain calm. I think that itself is a huge factor as well. Um, but yeah, just try it out. But if Wim Hof actually has a message, so if you look into it, you'll tip like the steps of how to do it properly. So before he goes into any cold situations, he does some exercises to get the blood flowing. He does some like uh, breathing exercises, just focuses his attention and then goes. But that's, you know, for minus 20, 30 degrees, which I can fully understand. No one can just go to paralysis and dies. But, yeah, well, he is a normal human, but, you know. Um, so, yeah. If you do it by the steps, it provides quite a little bit. Thank you. Okay, so uh, if there are no more questions, then uh, I would like to thank Amin for, for the presentation and for the speech. And yeah, applaud him for it because it was great. <laughs> And, uh, well, sorry, next announcement, the uh, next lecture is going to be in Paper Hub, which is...